Welcome back, friends. Well, through death and pain, my next guest is healing and gaining strength. Now she wants to share her inspirational story with you to help you through life's challenges. I'm so delighted to have Kenyatta Dotson joining me. Thank you so much for being here. How are you? Great. Thank and you for Danielle, us. how are you? How are you? I am excellent. I'm so glad that you're here joining us. Now you have a new book, I do. Anna Play, that yes. you're an actor in. Now the book is called Somebody Somewhere Has to Care. Oh my gosh, tell me what inspired you to write this? What is it about? Mm -hmm. What inspired me to write it is just my own personal loss in terms of um, being impacted by violence. I lost my aunt, I lost my best friend. Then I've come in contact with so many moms, dads, family members who have lost little kids, 13 year olds, six year olds to violence. They were innocent victims. And sitting in the courtroom for myself and my family, I couldn't help but also think about the perpetrator and think about what as family members, as community members, as church members, right. whomever, just neighbors in community, what more could we have done to to show that show these individuals that somebody somewhere truly does care. They yeah. are not alone and they don't do not have to um, accept the things that they are choosing for themselves. I love that. And through your book, what message do you hope that readers take away? I'm hoping that it will inspire individuals to um, to just be an yeah. instrument of change, mm -hmm. to be able to change not only that which is happening outside of their home, but also what's happening inside of our home. Because yeah. oftentimes, individuals who are committing many crimes yeah. are right inside our homes right. or are our best friends right. or family members. Mm -hmm. So just starting with ourselves and then moving beyond that to truly um, provoke change at a level that we've never experienced before. And I love it that you've turned the book into a play based on the book. So, and that's coming up. So you have, to, you have to tell us when and where. But first, I want to talk to you. How is it being in the play? Who do you play in the, in the um, production? I, I played the son, the part of the, the son. son. Okay. Yes. How, how was that experience for you, Daniel? Um, it's different because I haven't ever been into a play. Right, but you're mm. you're ready to be a little actor now, aren't you? Yes. You're enjoying yourself. Yes, I am. Okay. What's the most enjoyable thing about it? Would you say? Um, the most enjoyable thing about it would probably be. <sighs> I would think meeting so many people. I was gonna, yeah. I was gonna yeah. yeah, meeting yeah. people and yeah. just being able to express yourself in a way that you've never expressed yourself, right? Yeah. I would meeting love that. People. Yeah. So, when is this play, and how can people see it? So the play is scheduled for um, Friday, August 23rd, and Saturday, August 24th. So um, people have an opportunity to select two days. They can come one day, they can come both days. Okay. Um, either one, it's, it's, the cost is $12. It's at McCree Theater, which is at 4601 Clio Road. Yeah. Um, I do want to say this young man said, I've never been to a play, I've never oh. been a part of a play or, or whatever. That's the thing. We need to expose young people to more positive things. We need to utilize the resources and the assets that we have to make sure that they know that they have opportunities. They can do whatever they put their mind to it. They and can. It gives them confidence yes. and boosts their self-esteem. I'm all mm -hmm. about that. That's yes. for sure. And then people can also get your book where? Yes, people can get the book off of Amazon. Okay. Um, they can call me directly from on Facebook. If you have my cell phone number, feel yeah. free to give me a call. But if you go to Amazon and you type in somebody somewhere has to care or my name, Kenyatta Dotson, yeah. you will be able to access the book. I love it. Thank you for inspiring so many people. We need more inspiration these days. Thank you so much. Danielle, you are awesome. Thank you. I think I, I can't wait to see you in Hollywood. <laughs> Can I come to your next show when you're in yeah. Hollywood, when you make it big? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Look you. how good he looks, I too. I know, and he's handsome. Thank you so much for, you. for joining me today. I appreciate you. you. If you have any, we'll have all this information on our website about the play in the book. If you have any ideas on what you would like to see on our show, you can send them to us at WNEM. Dash 4 p.m. news at WNEM.com. Just use the subject 4 p.m. news spotlight.